verse 19 to 20. That means only two verses. Just see. The second one will be taken from the, the second book of the Kings, chapter 23, verse 17 to 19. The first one is about the tomb of Rachel, that you know is near Bethlehem, between Jerusalem and Bethlehem. And the other one is about some uh, king bones. <coughs> some bones we were not touched. That was the case of an Edifice one. So this is why we have taken these two small readings. It will be followed by a small uh, few words by Father Smith. Genesis chapter 5, verse 19. Raya fa asitandirani ya oyare frati. Onezino api betla ema. Jacobo ai misa trombo la chumbuzo. Unta acharo chawe. Chumbuzo icho chisumba une charo charere. Chaba one na mu. Rora de cereza islamzi. Yeah. <laughs> Second reading taken from Two Kings chapter twenty three, verses seventeen to nineteen. Whose tomb is that? He asked. The people of Bethel answered, It is the tomb of the prophet who came from Judah and predicted these things that we have done to this order. Limited as it is, Josiah ordered, His bones are not to be removed. So his bones were not moved, neither were those of the prophet who had come from Samaria. In every city of Israel, King Josiah tore down all the pagan places of worship which had been built by the kings of Israel, who thereby aroused the Lord's anger. He did to all those altars what he had done in Bethel. He killed all the pagan priests on the altars where they served, and he burned human bones on every altar. Then he returned to Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ukolo do mi onyuga na do. Ukolo do mi onyuga na do. Paul explains 
in first letter to the Corinthians chapter 15, our bodies shall rise and rejoice in heaven with our souls. But now what is important for us maybe, rather than giving a discourse about bones and everything, we get the bones of the man of God to the church to remind us of who he was and what he stood for. If you remember the first stones that the Bible talks about is in the book of Joshua, after they cross the river Jordan, and Joshua say, you shall put this stone, so that one day when your children ask you, what are these stones for? And you will tell them that God took us through from the land of Egypt Amen. to the land of Canaan. Amen. So we are putting this stone today here to remind everyone who lives, who comes here, who comes to pray, that God visited us through Benedict Garson. We, bring in, we are opening this stone so that we remember always that God, the prophet of God was among us, the one who witnessed for the life of God. But when we look at this, our reaction is very important. I was talking to someone uh, this morning, I was saying, in the Catholic Church we have saints, number one, because they are the models, role models for us. Only number two, do they intercede for us. And sometimes we, we turn these things out. We want them to intercede for us. We don't want to live like them. Mm -hmm. If you remember, the king Saul went to a man with um, uh, to, to a, 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 a soothsayer to ask him to talk to the late uh, prophet Samuel. And Samuel said to him, why can I speak to you? Because you have turned away from the Lord. So when someone has died, like our saintly Benedict Tidaswa died and died for his faith, every time we say, Benedict Tidaswa, let us live like he lived. May our weekend be blessed as we are here. And may we go back and say, Viva Jesu, Viva Benedict, down with sorcery, down with witchcraft. Amen. Amen. Come in front uh, of the altar so that everybody can know can know you. So I am calling the elder Helen. That's why <coughs> Helen will come, followed by the younger and the one with burning the face and burning the So Helen. The three, as they have asked me if they could do the unveiling of the stone, I say yes, indeed, no problem. So you will do that. I will go there with you, and Robert Milo can come also. I will ask Norman Sikura, who is the pastoral worker in France, to come with the water and the towel, maybe in case we need to clean something. Okay, so I ask those who are in the eye, please, Open your eyes so that we can walk and go there.
Gary Rabelle, Nefes Fay in Salem of our heart. Yahweh Muzimu, Iwe Ane, Wakatuchela Vatendi, Vorisi Yao, Wava Azweza, Shud Faza Tombo Ili, La Charoline, Rali Itan Uswayo, Loa Fetu, et Simon Gazo, Samuel Benedict Daswa, Bakari, à Awela One, Ngabe Achiva Nabuchiro Harini Narini, Au Pemerera et Navaketwa Rini Narini, Ri Umbera Izwi, Ngazina La Kriste Munewashu. Amen. Now we we'll start the unveiling of the tomb from the head. Hélène will start. She takes out the red silk ribbon that the family will keep. You can see it in the, all the tomb which is there in that Now she's starting with the white claw from the head stone. And uh, she will read, before continuing, she will just read what is written first on the head of the stone. People are making noise. People are making noise. Zazino rido umbela uri mwe wawavana wavare zo mwari waho ka tombo heli nga hangeno to ni zaone. Okay, it reads as follows. Uh, bless, blessed Chimangazo Samuel Benedict Danswa. Um, he died. He was born on the 16th of June 1946 and then he left us on the 2nd of the 2nd 1990 and he was then buried on the 10th of February 1990 and the beautification due tomorrow on the 13th 09 2015. And here it reads, and these are the words that my father actually said when he's appealing to say something before they can take his, uh, they can actually finish him. He said, unto your hands I command your, my spirit. And that is from Psalm 31, verse 6. Le maifi o ambiwa o ngabo benedicti dafa mose va... Chivorisia Kalino Shango, Gavi, two Zamizu, two nineteen ninety. My pure Fedzisera, who is Randani Zau, the Kumezera, Muyawanga. Afa Maperoni, at the end, it reads Ora et Labora, which means pray and work, which was my father's motto when he was still with us. And it says here, pray for us. That means if you start by the top, you see, you can start. Eh? Blessed Chimangazo Samuel Benedict Daswa, pray for us. Let us repeat. Pray, pray for us. us. There is here some uh, what we call sanction, you see, some pillars with uh, nice velvet, uh, red velvet uh, ropes. That means people must be outside, not inside, okay? Mm -hmm. And outside there is two small... Uh, Benches where you can kneel, and uh, on the top there were some uh, cards. There is a cushion here yeah, when you want to kneel down there. There should be some uh, prayer cards here inside. I would like to see if there are some here because I need now. Just a second. Check out the other one. Okay, now there are. Okay. okay, and so I will ask the daughters of Benedict Daswa. During the time that one is washing the tomb, the two other one 
Connery, The Prayer to the Venerable Servant of God, Benedict, that's why we will be called tomorrow only blessed. So we pray the prayer that we were used to pray. Uh, you can pray loudly so that all people can hear. Oh, blessed Trinity. Oh, blessed Trinity. You fill the heart of your servant Benedict with great love and zeal in building up your kingdom. You chose him and gave him the courage and the strength to stand up for his faith without fear and bear witness unto his death. Loving God, like him, may I always proclaim the truth of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ by the witness of my life. Keep me away from all deeds of darkness. Protect me from evil spirits and all the powers of evil. Make me a true apostle of life in my family and in my society. Father, through his intercession and according to your will, grant me the grace that I ask for you. We stop. Each one can ask in his or her heart the blessing that he or she wants to ask God through the intercession of the venerable servant of God, Chimangazo Samuel Benedict Daswa. And we pray for the success of the day tomorrow, that we have a nice weather. I draw strength and courage from the life of your servant Benedict in the hope that he will be proposed to be the faithful for veneration and as an intercessor and the model of holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Simon Gazzo, Samuel Benedict Daswa, pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Samuel Benedict Daswa. Pray for us. Simon Gazzo, Samuel Benedict Daswa. Pray for us. Thank you. Now we will go back to the altar. The time that uh, here everything is nice. Uh, we don't put the flowers. The flowers will be put here on the tomb. Maybe here between the head and the the book, there is some place, yeah, like that. Okay. Thank you so much. For now we look there at the cross at the altar we turn back we look there all we get out from this place the cameraman also and uh, we leave this space uh, three out of people okay so all are getting out we can have a song.
Richie Poemba, Luimbo, Rotea, especially to the family. Hearing. Okay. Yeah, make sure your mic does not appear. And uh, also, this is a holy place. Uh, behave as you would behave in church. No talking, no noise, no eating. When we are here, either we are praying or we are singing. Please. Apa fetu, ono wa fetu ketwa runeriko umela ure mwe na mwe ane adova ash kwa jena apa. Vasongo ita posho, vasongo lave pano ngangu mukerekeni chingwe na the cell phones zifanlo ure zimiwe. Not ure zeka silence zito zimiwa. Arari vachi wona phone ya wech adova zindela. Vaisi yanda ure zivat zindela apa ngauri ono wa fetu une. U follow Tom Peanga Yundila. Gauri Una Hills is in a Kofakazuzino. Adova Ava Uri Una Iso Una Shira Chiketwa Fala. And also in the yard, please. When you have finished praying, go outside because if you speak outside, people can hear inside and you are disturbing them. 
You can only talk outside the gate. Mosi vachi ba fari kova umbera zwa ore arari vachi katoda uamba. Afa ngomu jarata ni awambi we. Vanga amba wono vanga nda jarata in kumbela kure. Loko mi humala. Minga bula vuli minga. Yeah, Just do it. Okay. Okay. I think he hides. Please don't stand on top of our cables. I don't know whether it's anywhere. No, no, no. Okay, for you.
Tickets, good. I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, 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 to avoid the person. Yeah. 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 Maybe you wanted to do an interview with yeah. yeah. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to do this. No, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. Can you can you hear me? Maraika? Maraika? Hello? Tabo, please bring another phone, fan. Tabo, please bring your phone. Muputing. ST. Them. Hi, Marika. I think we, we need another phone. Just hold one second. Do you have another phone that you can use? Yeah, yeah. yeah they are bringing it. Yeah, yeah, one second, one second, Marika. Yeah. Um, 083. Marika. Can you hear me? Okay, 083. 4134. Okay. Just put that one in that brick. Sorry. Boza, you can't come here. There's a camera here, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Get a little bit closer. Hi, Marika. 
Yes, I can much better. Okay. Um, yes, yes, you can, Marika. Um, yes, can you hear me? Dragging this stuff, but it's not dragging. But I don't know why. We could have done the effect. Okay. Oh, but. Guys, we are trying to do an interview. Thank you. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Not now. Oh, we are ready now. Elena, 
Well, thanks uh, very much, uh, um, to me and welcome uh, once again to Tohoyando, just outside the church that uh, Benedict Daswa helped uh, form and uh, build uh, those many, many years ago. Uh, we've just witnessed uh, the official unveiling of uh, a tombstone right inside the church um, in his honor ahead, of course, of uh, that uh, beautification ceremony that's uh, scheduled to be held um, in this village um, a few kilometers that way um, where congregants uh, of the uh, members of the Roman Catholic Church but friends and villagers and well-wishers will gather tomorrow for that big um, ceremony. Only a few Africans, it must be pointed out, have uh, in fact been canonized by the Roman Catholic Church over the years and two of those it was back in the 1800s in Uganda and another one of course in the 1900s um, in Sudan. Well it's a big deal uh, certainly for the people of this church, the people of uh, this uh, village and indeed Roman Catholics across South Africa and across the continent of uh, Africa and with me here just to take us through what we've just witnessed but also what will be happening tomorrow and its meaning and its significance i am joined uh, uh, by our father uh, father mgadi from the roman catholic church big deal father for the roman catholic church in south africa and in the continent of africa yes indeed it's we are so happy it is really happening we've been preparing for this day since january 25 when Pope Francis announced that uh, uh, Benedict Daswa is getting this recognition as blessed of the church. Now, before we get to what's going to happen tomorrow and its meaning and significance, just take us through the ceremony that we've just witnessed inside this church uh, behind us. What was happening there a short while ago? Um, actually, three weeks ago, on the 24th of August, as per church instruction, we exhumed the body of Benedict Daswa and uh, brought it to church here. So this is a long tradition in the church. If you hear about catacombs in Romans, then, so churches were built on the tombs of the martyrs. So we are continuing with that tradition. So we put uh, his body here in this church, which he helped build. So today, officially this morning, we were unveiling the tombstone so that people, pilgrims who, are start, who have started coming, as you can see, can start be praying uh, along the, the, the tomb. Now, beyond uh, today, I mean, a few kilometers down the road, there will be this big beautification um, ceremony that's going to take place. First of all, what does this whole ceremony mean? What does it mean uh, to be canonized as he is going to be tomorrow? And what is beautification and what, what is its meaning for Roman Catholics? As I stress during my homily now in church, it means he's a role model for us as living Christians. We base ourselves on the uh, letter of the Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 1 to 2, that we have a cloud of witnesses who have lived the life of faith so well. So we must also persevere. So he is, number one, a model. But number two also, he is becoming a powerful intercessor. We can pray to God, asking him to intercede for us. So this is a very, very big thing. But above all, we are happy because normally we get um, uh, priests, monks, none given this honor. But here is a simple layman, a married man, and a father of eight children, a local principal in a primary school here, a, 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 a farmer, a subsistence farmer, a man of the community being given this recognition. We are very happy and excited. But how much of it is, um, for lack of a better word or description, is affirmative action given just how big the Roman Catholic Church is in the continent of Africa, yet uh, many people who have been beatified remain Europeans and other people um, of European descent. So how much of this really was trying, perhaps hard even, to really uh, have 
a, an African um, in modern times being beatified? Yes, the Roman Catholic Church is a very old church, over 2,000 years. So, but here in Southern Africa, we're only 200 years. So even in the departments of Rome, we are still called a mission country for that matter. So this is one step to, to be coming out of age, as if I may use that term, to become a fully-fledged local church. So you might say, yeah, in, in want of a better phrase, it is affirmative action. <laughs> but are people happy? With. People are happy, as you can see, they are excited. Buses are coming. Look, the buses are coming now. We're going to have a, a great time with the, in the presence of the Lord this weekend. Now, take us through what is going to be happening tomorrow. Uh, an event, of course, we will be covering live um, as uh, the SABC. What's going to happen tomorrow morning? As we begin at half past seven with a musical presented by the local youth there with the Chivenda, Chitsonga and Sipedi themes coming through, which are the cultures that Benedict uh, must have known. He's a vendor of a Lemba tribe himself, followed uh, by the chanting of the Psalms, the Psalms in the Bible, because we believe these are very important prayers. And then afterwards we'll begin then the actual beatification rite where the local bishop of this place, Bishop Joao Rodriguez, will ask uh, Cardinal Amato, who is the, uh, uh, the delegate of Pope Francis, to pronounce him uh, um, beatified. And then a, a bull or a, a papal decree of Pope Francis then will be read out and then uh, uh, Cardinal Amato will announce that he's blessed. And afterwards we'll preach a homily followed by communion of course and then speeches from different leaders uh, including the Deputy President uh, Cyril Ramaphosa. Oh. Thank you very much. Um, just on that note before um, I let you go and we uh, politicizing what should essentially be a church matter by bringing in politicians and asking them to um, um, speak at such a ceremony as well? Just Not curious. at all. We, 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 Cyril Ramaphosa is coming as representing the head of state. The Catholic Church has always said we are living in a city of God as a city of men to quote St. Augustine of Ipo. So we know we are facing at heaven but with our feet solidly on the ground. Oh, thank you very much. Um, Father um, Gadi, they're taking us through a ceremony we witnessed a short while ago, but also taking us through what will be happening tomorrow and, of course, the meaning of it all. We will be covering that ceremony live tomorrow morning um, from this village, the beautification of uh, um, Benedict uh, Daswa, um, uh, a first. Um, for Africa in a very, very long time. We will be bringing you uh, some uh, views of uh, the villagers around here, but also um, parishioners of this church, as well as uh, uh, well-wishers who will be here to witness uh, this ceremony um, tomorrow. For now, it's uh, back uh, to you in Johannesburg, to me. Oh, we're done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, thank I'm sure we'll see each other. Yeah, no, sure. Here's the day's progress. Thank you. Um, um, wait, wait, before, 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 before. Um, was, um, Tabo.